Laura, the medicinal labelling bill is currently going through the House of Lords. Um, it's got a little way to go yet yeah, because it's then got to go through the uh, House of Commons. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is um, really so that uh, the general public will know that uh, a drug uh, has actually been tested on animals. That's the, the yes. idea behind it. Yeah. Do you feel that it will work? On the 25th of October, Lord Winston um, oversaw the second reading of the medicinal labelling bill in the House of Lords. The second reading is um, obviously the second time it's read in the House of Lords and it's the stage before it goes to a committee. So he had his second reading and a few of the other Lords um, expressed their points of view on the subject. It's now gone to the next stage, which is the committee stage, so it will go through a committee a report will come back from the committee and from then it will go for its third reading in the House of Lords. So it's still quite a long way before making it through um, and coming into um, being a legal requirement. Basically the legal requirement is that Lord Winston would like all medicinal packaging to state it's tested on animals. The drug has been tested on animals. And he feels this is essential because all products should be tested on animals because he feels it's the only way you can ensure the products are safe. However, some people have slightly different views on this and that's where my research comes into it about thinking about do we need to be doing the animal testing? Can we use alternatives instead? And can we use alternatives? I think so, definitely. There's lots of alternatives out there that we can use instead. It's very limited information that you get from animal testing. It doesn't need to be the way that we try and determine which drugs are safe and which drugs are not safe. There's lots of alternatives such as computer simulations, computer programs we can use. There's biological systems, there's chemical mimics as well. All of these different techniques are really interesting to look at as alternatives. But as it stands at the moment, every single drug that is produced must be tested on animals. That's a legal requirement. So even if a pharmaceutical company wanted to use an alternative, they would still need to do the testing on animals in the first place. And the bill is a, a long way from uh, going through mm -hmm. uh, uh, as, as legislation, uh, in that it's got to get through uh, the House of Lords, uh, and it's still in there, and then it's got to get through the House of Commons. Mm -hmm. But if it did go through, what do you think the general public's reaction would be? I mean, what, do you think they'd be put off uh, if they bought, you know, might, may they not use the yeah. drugs at all? That is one of the concerns, is that the public are perhaps not aware that all medicines are tested on animals. If they were aware, they maybe would be less keen to take the medication, which could have awful consequences in the long run. So it's very important that, in my opinion, that people are made aware but not so that they're put off from taking their medication, but so that they invest in the idea of developing alternatives. So we sort of, we, we both have the same idea that I think it would be beneficial, but for very different reasons. Lord Winston wants it to come in because he feels we should be doing animal testing, whereas I feel it would highlight the situation and uh, create uh, the possibility of thinking about using alternatives instead of the animal testing. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.